if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content and if you want to see what life in beijing is like if you're thinking about moving here if you're thinking about traveling here yeah, or if you're just overall and this is my life really in china country, and you want to live, if you, you, want to see you like this and you want to see more content country, like and like. subscribe like and subscribe and like i said before this channel is just about my life and i want to show you guys what living in beijing is like and especially during this circumstance i just want to show you guys what beijing is like hey guys like i said before my name is coleman this is my life and this channel is all about me showing you guys what my life is like in China. If you guys never been to another country and you guys want to see what living in a country is like, subscribe. If you guys want to know all the tourist spots, all the good food, all the ins and outs of living in Beijing or living in China for that matter, then also like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I post a video. I'll be posting a video every Monday. Well, this is my school and in this video i want to show you guys about how to get a free education in china and you pay only your plane ticket and sometimes you don't even have to play your pay your plane ticket so again this is my school and in this video i'm going to show you about i'm going to show you all about about how to get scholarships in china when i was in high school back in the states my grades were not so good and maybe if you're watching this, maybe your grades weren't that good either. But I'm gonna tell you that you don't need to be a straight A student to get a free education in one of the top universities in China. And although this school isn't the top, it's one of the top and it's a pretty good school. Me in high school, I was a C, C average student and I got into this school with no problem. I'm on a scholarship, I'm learning Chinese. I've been learning for three years now and I've been on, on a scholarship for two of those years. And in this video, I want to show you guys how to do that. Let's go into my computer and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so this is what I used two years ago. Let's see, and the server cannot be found. But don't get discouraged. This also happened two years ago and I just kept refreshing it and eventually I could apply for the scholarship. So with saying that, um, I... But honestly, I don't really think this website is probably in use anymore. And there are a lot, but there are other websites that are a lot more helpful than this website that I used. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you. But this is what I used two years ago. And I just want to use this as an example to show you guys that things in China always change. So <clears throat> um, there are two main scholarships um, that I want to talk about. One is the Confucius Institute Scholarship. And the other one is the Chinese Government Scholarship or the uh, Chinese Scholarship Council Scholarship. I am currently on the SCS, which is, or sorry, the CSC, which is uh, Chinese Scholarship Council Scholarship. And I have a lot of friends who are on the Confucius Scholarship, but let's move on. All right. So this is, this is a website that tells you a bunch about uh, the Chinese, the China scholarships in general. Over here, you can select what you want. Self-exclamatory, come on. If you don't know how to do this, then maybe you should go back to primary school. But anyways, so I'm going to click on about Chinese scholarship and scroll down to the bottom. And so this is what I did. I did the bilateral program. Uh, there are a bunch of other options uh, that you can pick from, but none of them applied to me uh, since I'm from America um, yeah, so none of them applied to me. The only one that applied to me was the bilateral program. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, just because it's something I'm familiar with. And honestly, I think it can, you know, anybody can do the bilateral program. So, but how much, how much are you actually going to be making? Sorry, I shouldn't say making, like, it seems like you're making a profit doing this. How much of the scholarship or how much scholarship will you actually get? Well, that's here at the bottom. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of blurry. It's not really clear. Uh, sorry about that. And then over here, like you can see how much your like the the scholarship is worth. And to me, I think that's great. Like, uh, you get stipend. Uh, 
30,000 renminbi a year, that's 2,500 renminbi a month. And, you know, of course, as, you know, you move from your undergraduate to some graduate degrees, it, uh, it rises a little bit. Yeah, so I have a bunch of friends who are also getting their master's and their doctorate, and they get a bigger, they get a bigger stipend. Uh, but I'm currently getting my undergraduate degree in Chinese. My stipend is 2500 a month. It's mainly just for food and other expenses. So it's not much, but, you know, it, it works, and it's a lot better than paying off loans when you graduate. All right, so I just showed you what exactly the CSC scholarship offers and I showed you how much you can actually get from the scholarship. But there are a few downsides. Some of the downsides are, you might have to speak Chinese. You have to be fluent in English if you don't come from an English speaking country. And I mean, in my opinion, if you come from the UK or Australia, you should yet, you should also have to take an English test because let's be honest, <laughs> their English isn't the best. If your program requires that you speak Chinese, you have to be able to pass an HSK level four exam. HSK exams are basically a standardized Chinese speaking test. Um, it's called the Hanyu Shui Ping culture. And if you know what that means, then you're probably, a, you're already halfway there. You're probably HSK three. So anyways, um, it's not that easy. And also some of the programs also give you a one, a one year uh, language program study before you actually start your major. So I'd also ask your university about that before you apply for everything. So now I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to apply for the CSC scholarship. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open up a web browser and go to the China Embassy website of your country. And then you want to go down to um, sections, educational affairs, and over here. So if you, you can click study in China or you can hit contact us. Uh, I'll show you what happens. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a page that looks like, okay, well this, I got lucky this time. So, and then once you get to this page, go to Chinese government scholarship scheme, and then let's see if this opens, okay, yeah. So it's gonna say page not found. So that's gonna happen a lot. It happens all the time. Don't get, don't get discouraged, just, keep trying to get in touch with them. You need to get in touch with the embassy. Bottom line is contact the embassy under the education, uh, under the education portion. This is kind of tricky, so, oh my gosh. And then contact us, same thing. But you get the point, try to contact the embassy. And again, I should mention that contacting the embassy is for the bilateral program so uh, and that that's that's what i'm going to be showing you guys is bilateral program steps i'm sure these steps can easily transfer over to other sections of the scholarship or other um, scholarship options so don't worry all right so now let's go to step two all right, so I'm here at Scholarship Fellow. The, again, the link, all these links are in the description below. So just read that thoroughly, play with the links, click on the links, and do, yeah, do what you got to do. Okay, so I'm at Scholarship Fellow, and here is a list of all the universities in China. You can pick, uh, like, what you want to study, medicine, education, art, philosophy, law, history, whatever you want to do right here. Just click on it. It's just, yeah, it's a normal filter. Um, but the top, top two universities in China are Tsinghua and Peking University or Beida. Um, I do recommend going to those schools. These schools are going to be a lot harder to get into. Uh, I also recommend, I can get rid of that. I also recommend uh, Shanghai University and Fudan University. Those are also really good 
schools. Uh, as you can see, ranking China number five. I don't know why the ranking number four, number three. Yeah, number two. Okay, yeah, but these are number one, number two, obviously. Um, and of course, I would also like to recommend my school, Beijing Normal University. Uh, it's not on here. Yeah, it's not on here. Unfortunately, I think it's in the top 10, though. That's what I, maybe I was lied to. Yep, I was lied to. But anyways, yeah. So we're going to need, need to pick your school. Once you pick your school, you have to apply for the pre-acceptance letter. Of course, do your research. You're going to want to check in. Yeah, just do your really good research about, about these schools. Okay, so once you decide on your school, then apply to your school. Go to the ISO office or webpage of that school that you picked. So the International Students Office. Go to their webpage contact them or go do whatever you need to do to apply. It's going to be different with every school and I can't really help you with that, but it should be really self-explanatory. So once you get your acceptance letter, then you can move on to step three. All right, step number three, go to studyinchina.csc.edu.cn and then you'll see this web page. Don't freak out. Every, oh my gosh, oh no, everything's in Chinese. What do I do? Uh, yeah, don't freak out. Just go over here, click the English button. <laughs> wow, everything's in English. Isn't it great? Okay, so with this, you're going to want to make an account. And this is the website that you will use to fill out the Chinese government scholarship. Once you have the pre-admission letter, this is where you're going to want to go um, to start applying for the scholarship but while you're waiting for the pre-admission letter go ahead and start filling this out and getting the things you need to do to get this thing this whole thing completed and then once you get the pre-admission letter then you're good and you're like you're ready to print it out and turn everything in uh, but one of the things that it's going to ask you is going to ask you for a school code and so you can contact, so I, I would do both things. If you're in really good contact with this embassy, then contact the embassy and get the code of your school of choice to get that code that I was talking about, the code to fill in on this website, go to scholarshipfellow.com. And again, the link is in the description below. I made it really simple for you guys. And then find your university. So let's say I'm I wanted to go to Xiamen. So oh I found Xiamen University and this is the code that you would want. So this is the code that you would want to plug in on your application to tell them this is the school that you've decided to go to. And yeah, once you plug this code in on this website, print it out, print everything out, and then mail it through DHL or some other uh, courier service. And then you're good to go and just wait. And then you'll get an email or a letter back saying that you got accepted and that you got a scholarship. All right, step four, filling out the forms, printing it out and mailing it off. It's pretty simple, but a lot of these forms are gonna ask you to do stuff that you might not expect, like getting your physical exam check or something like that, getting a, some random eye exam. But whatever it is, make sure you leave enough time to fill out the form so that you can come to China on time and you can get everything filled out on time. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is just wait for the acceptance letter. And once that acceptance letter arrives, you're in China. My name's Coleman. This is my life. And my channel is all about mine and my wife's life in China. And we just want to show you the ins and out, the ins and the outs of living in China. And once this whole coronavirus thing is over, I'll be posting more videos about tourism in China, hotels to stay at, hotels not to stay at, restaurants to eat, restaurants not to eat at, and cool tourist spots that you probably don't even know about. If you want to see more, stay tuned. And again, subscribe and hit the bell icon.